My name's Andy Watson. I'm a station manager for Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service and I was seconded into the programme team to build a brand new training centre here in Winsford. Because over the years we've put into place fantastic prevention measures across the community, we've actually seen a reduction in the number of incidents that firefighters respond to. And with that reduction of incidents brings a, a lack of experience. So what we wanted to do was build a training centre that was realistic and immersive so that when they do come here, they're faced with a range of risks that they would expect to find out there in the community. ISG have been great, they've come onto the site and they've looked at how we work in the fire sector which is completely different to how the construction industry would normally work because we've asked ISG to build a number of our features to be safe but unsafe but we can still train in a safe environment. So we've built in our new training centre a petrochemical rig which we can set fire to, a number of terraced houses we, again which we can set fire to which have got to be able to withstand repeated burns over a period of time and because Cheshire's got a large motorway network we've also included a stretch of motorway with overhead gantry and a lot of key features that you'd expect to find on a motorway. We were part way through the, the build project when the coronavirus pandemic hit. It brought a number of challenges, none more than the issue of trying to obtain a number of building materials because a number of the manufacturers had closed down. But ISG went to great lengths to obtain some of those materials, such as building blocks, which you can't buy straight from the supplier, you have to go to a merchant. ISG was able to give us enough information that I could present that to a strategic level and keep the senior management team abreast of developments. ISG also kept us informed of the COVID secure mitigation measures that they would have on site to make sure that their contractors and subcontractors could work in an area that our teams were working in and able to make sure that we were, you know, COVID secure and COVID compliant. The relationships that I built up with the project management team was uh, second to none really. It was really important to have that link so that I could get access to the site every day and to see how the design and development uh, was proceeding. Feedback from staff that already are on site as well as staff that, that have been attending and managers from above has been fantastic. They are, I'll be honest with you, they're blown away by the, the, the scenarios and the, the build quality itself.